Okay, our first lesson is a lesson in basic animation and we're going to be creating some rainbows and we're going to be filling them in and then as soon as we fill in one color we're going to save them to our desktop and then fill in the next color and save that to our desktop. Then fill in the next and the next and the next saving in between each color. At the end we're going to have at least seven files we're going to import those seven files into Microsoft Movie Maker. We're going to speed up the duration of every clip, and then we're going to save and publish our movie and email it to me, the teacher, or you can just upload it to YouTube, and I'll make sure that it gets to um, into Moodle, where we're going to have everybody's rainbow movies so we can see what we've all created. Okay, so first things first, we're going to create our rainbow pictures in paint. Okay, so you can see my cursor down at the bottom left of your screen. I'm sort of hovering over the start button. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the start button. I'm going to go to all programs. And my very first folder that I see is my accessories folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my accessories folder to open it and in alphabetical order I see all my goodies inside the accessories folder and I want to go ahead and open up paint. Okay, there's my paint screen. Nice and brand new fresh piece of paper that we can work with. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is um, I want to create an outline of our rainbow and I'm going to do that using my curved line and my straight line and my fill bucket. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is um, go ahead and create um, the seven colors that I'm going to be using. Um, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Okay, and that's Roy G. Biv um, is the little name that you can use to remember all those different colors of the rainbow. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on my curved line and I'll come right here in the middle of my screen and I just make a nice little straight line and then I go into the middle and I pull my line up. Okay, there we go. And then I click above it to make sure that that arc stays where it should stay. Okay, for my next line I start a little bit further out. I make my straight line and then pull up. Next line, pull up and click up. And now I, I've realized that I'm going to run out of room here, so I'm going to grab my select and I'm going to draw a box around my lines and I'm going to drag them down. So I have a nice area to work with. Okay, where was I? Go to my curved line, draw it out, pull up and click. Curve, draw my straight line, pull up and click, draw my straight line, pull up and click. Okay, now let's check out where we are. So inside this, these two lines will be red, orange, yellow, green, blue. I just need two more. Straight line pull up and click, straight line, pull up, and click, oopsie, okay, so this is a good example, I don't want this line to cross over that line, so I'm going to go to edit, undo, and I'm going to redo this line, so straight line, pull up, right here. Okay, good enough. Okay, let's do a check here. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab my straight line and I am going to now close all of my lines at the bottom so when I fill everything in with my fill bucket my colors don't bleed out all over the place. Okay, and I'm going to make sure that all of these lines are um, completely 
connected, okay? Um, even if I have a little bit of lines left over at the bottom here, that's no big deal. I can get my eraser and I can erase these a little bit, no problem. I'll go over here, I'll erase this. Just clicking on this just slightly, just to get my little lines a little bit neater here. Okay, no problem. And now comes the fun part. Let's go ahead and fill this baby in. So I'm going to choose my fill bucket, and I choose my bright red, and I fill this line right here. Okay, now I filled one in, and this is going to be the first file that I save. So I'm going to go up here to my file, save as, and I'm going to go ahead to my desktop. So I save all of my files for everything that I'm going to create in this club to my desktop. And I'm going to save this as rainbow red, and I hit save. Okay, now we're going to go on to the next file. So I need to choose my orange color, and I fill in my next line with orange. I go up here to File, Save as, Rainbow Orange. My next color I'm going to do is that bright yellow. I'm going to go up here to File, Save as, Rainbow, yellow. Next color I'm going to grab is this green. File, save as. It's easy now because it's just automatically going to where I need it to save. Oops. And it automatically has that rainbow in there, the rainbow word. So I just go ahead and um, delete the last word and put in the last color that I need. Did green, now I'm on blue. Go up here to file. Save as rainbow blue. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Now I need indigo, which is like a nice light purple. And I got you got it. It's file save as rainbow indigo. And then my final one is purple. And I go up here and I do file save as rainbow, purple, purple, purple. Okay, save. Okay, now if I want to use my spray can and get some really fun little colored clouds, I can do that too. I'm going to color a cloud here. And my trick with the spray can is I like to use lots of different colors on one object. So if I'm doing a cloud, I can use light blue and then dark blue. Cute, 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 cute. Okay. And then as soon as I'm done with my cloud, I do File, Save As, Rainbow Cloud. Okay. Now, I think I am done creating my rainbow movie for this segment. So I, and I can always come back and do other different things or do the challenge, but for right now I think I'm done with this. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize my paint. And I, I see when I minimize my paint, my desktop, I see all of my different files that I have created. Now, to make these files, right now they're just graphics, they're just pictures. I need to put them into Movie Maker to actually make them into a movie. So I'm going to go here to my Start button, and I'm going to go to, I'm going to, go to All Programs, and I'm going to go up to Windows Live Movie Maker. You might have Windows Movie Maker, or you might have Mac version, which is iMovie. All of them are fine. Go ahead and click on Movie Maker. It takes a second, and then it'll pull everything up. Okay. The thing that I want to do next is import my rainbow files that I've created. So I can click here to go ahead and browse for those files, or I can click up here. It doesn't matter. So I click here, and I'm going to go to my desktop, and I'm going to go to rainbow file should be right at the bottom. 
So I see rainbow blue, rainbow cloud, rainbow green, rainbow indigo, rainbow orange, purple, rainbow red, rainbow yellow. Okay, I'm going to grab all of these files at one time. So I'm going to go ahead, click on my first file, which is rainbow blue, and then I'm going to hold my shift button down. I'm going to go ahead and click down here to rainbow yellow. So I held my shift button down and I clicked on the very first one, which was rainbow blue, and the very last one, which was rainbow yellow. And um, when I held my shift down on my keyboard, it then selected all of the files that I need to import, which is fantastic. Or you can import them one at a time, no big deal. So I go ahead and I hit open. And now I can see in my little preview menu, right here, my little preview window, if I go ahead and hit play, I can see my little movie. Okay, But it's all out of order. So the first thing I want to do is put it in order. So I'm going to drag rainbow red and I'm going to put this to the front. And I'm going to drag rainbow orange and put it next to rainbow red. And rainbow yellow goes next to rainbow orange. And rainbow green goes next to yellow. And blue is right there. And then I do indigo. And then I do purple. And there's my one with a cloud. Okay, now um, my movie, when I go ahead and click it down here, it's going very slowly. It doesn't look like it's filling anything in. So I want to go ahead and double click on my first rainbow red right here. And when I double click on it, I'm taken into my edit, um, my edit position here, my edit tab. And you're going to see in my edit tab, my duration is seven seconds, and that is way too long. So I'm going to go ahead and select it, delete it, and then put in 0.25, which is 0.25 seconds. And so now it should move much faster. So let's go ahead and preview that. Ooh, it goes right from red to yellow, or, or red to orange. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for this guy for orange. I double click on it, 0.25. Double click on this guy, get rid of that seven. Ooh. 0.25. Double click on this guy. 0.25. Get rid of this guy. 0.25. This guy. 0.25. This guy. 0.25. And this guy. 0.25. Okay. And I want to go back here. Yay! I can see my little movie. Now, that went really fast, so I'm going to go ahead and select that very first um, file that I made, and I'm going to hold my shift down on my keyboard again, and I'm going to select the last one, and I'm going to do, go to Home, and do a Copy, and then do a Paste. So you're going to see again all of my files down here, and they're in all kinds of wacky order, so I'm going to reorder them again. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, purple, violet. Okay, and then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to add a title. And my title is going to be contain my first. I want everybody to use their first name. So Stephanie's Rainbow Adventure. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this up here. And I'm going to check my duration for this is 7 seconds and that's fine. So it gives enough time for people to read it. And then I can go in here and I can go to my animations and I can do all kinds of animations and visual effects with all of my different files. All I have to do is click on them and go through here and it shows me what they will look like if I go ahead and pick some of these. I'm not going to pick any of these. What I want to show you next is how to save this as a movie file. So we go to Home, and then we go to File, Save Movie. Okay, File, Save Movie. We go up to Recommended for this project, which is the recommended settings. I double click, and I'm going to save it right to my desktop. I'm going to save it my first name, Stephanie Rainbow Movie. And I hit Save. And it's going to be now compress all my movies. It's going to give me a little percentage. And that's it. Now I just have to email this to 
the teacher, which is computerteacherhudson at yahoo.com, or I can upload it to, ya to YouTube.